Hello everybody, and welcome to the last episode that we're going to be doing real time. Uh, every episode after this is going to be a collection of days, many, many days. It's going to snow tomorrow. Oh, that's wild, and it's sunny. So what's our luck today? The spirits are in good humor, we'll have a little extra luck. Okay, good. I'll take that. Because today I want to go to the Skull Caverns because I would like to do my darndest to plus two forging and defense to try and finish off our slaying record or all of our slaying quests which to remind everyone we have just a little more crab kicks are actually pretty good um and apparently that speed increase lasts the entire day and in, in addition to the defense increase i suppose which isn't as important uh yeah we have the serpents and the dinosaurs left yeah i don't know if i'm gonna get anything much better than that. Also, I am out of coffee, so I'm not going to have that speed increase. 490 gold. Cool. Just randomly. Sure, we take those. Hello, kitty. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. It's going to feel like a bit of a weird send-off because there's not really anything specifically wild I want to do in this episode because we don't really have anything particularly wild left to do at all, so... It's, it's going to be just kind of a weird cut point, but it, there had to be a cut point somewhere, you know? Uh, I'm trying to... here. Uh, I can just throw away, like, decorations, I'm realizing. I was, like, trying to figure out, like, oh, I have no idea how to get rid of these. Yeah, I could just throw them away. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't... I would like to not throw away my flooring, though, if I could avoid it at all costs. But yeah, so just so you're aware of what's going to go on after this, I'll give updates of everything important that happens. Anything that we have that we get completed for perfection. Any new event that happens, because there will still be new events that happen after this point. Because remember, our grandfather said to watch out for him. I believe it was the first of spring of year three. So we're still kind of waiting for that. And there's still, I'd still like to finish up this. Cause I think that like, hmm. I don't, I did, I put away my fences. I was gonna like line these edges so that you can't really walk out of the bounds of where I want you to walk. And then of course we have to finish that up, but that'll all happen after we go to the mines. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I had a lucky lunch somewhere around here, but maybe I didn't. Perhaps I was mistaken. Actually, I should have had my food in here, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, we have energy tonic, which we can eat. Uh, yeah, our food there. I want to put the bombs really on the main set. It's not really much of this that I need. I could put away a lot of this, like these. The seaweed definitely doesn't need to be here. What else can go? I mean, the diamond. Yeah, I'll keep the diamond because you never know, but... It's Tuesday? Yeah, I can't really use utilize the jade either. Hey, that's plus one luck. I did not know banana pudding was plus luck. Okay, I'll bring that. And then I'll also bring... Some... Crab cakes, because this is going to wear out eventually. Probably. Just one crab cake, I suppose. We're not going to have a drink buff. Which is a shame, but hey, it's how it'll have to be. But yeah, uh, I don't think we're really going to get too much else. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't think we're going to get too much else really big done other than just completing our Slayer goals. Because for getting this last obelisk, that's a money problem. And I really don't see any way that we could get enough money to get there in time. Because we need, I mean, well, we need another 400,000 or so. So it's possible if we get like a really good haul this next day, but I wouldn't count on it. Anyway, banana pudding. I intend on kind of just absolutely rushing every floor until I start finding enemies. And wow, that gave me nothing that I needed. The one spot that I hit with my pickaxe was what I needed. Yeah, I don't really care about getting too deep. Uh, Omni Geos are nice because I do need to, hello. Omnigeos are nice because I do still need to find the dwarf gadget and it can spawn in an Omnigeo, just it's 
probably not worth trying because I believe it's a 0.8% chance in an Omni Geode as opposed to like in a Magma Geode. It's a 3.8%. Okay, yeah, I'll jump in that. I'll jump in that. That's a good hole. Magma Geode, it's a 3.8. And then in a Treasure Trove, it is a 3.7. So I suppose I could do the math on that because... Ugh, how many 0.8s do you need to put into a 3.7? Who's to say? Four, I think? So it might actually be better luck just opening all the Omni Geodes flat. Which I'm pretty sure would probably give you a better return. Oh, wow. Iridium Spring... You know, I'll take it. That'll just make me more efficient after... Uh, after we start going a little bit faster on the days. I've slayed one, count them, one monster that I need to kill. Maybe good luck was a bad thing. Oh, here we go. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that's our whole point of being here. Ooh, you're a little speedy boy, aren't you? I do need to heal soon. Yeah, these big old f open floors are going to be absolute gold mines of serpents, so it's good to keep an eye out for them here. Uh, I guess I should have had a monster musk too. I don't even know. Okay, y'all can stop that now. I don't really know if I even have the ingredients to make another monster musk, but should have checked, I guess. Anyway, I so here's the thing. I usually do have you watch all the way through the skull caverns, but I'm not really going for distant. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. Oh, come on. I'm not really going for distance. I'm just kind of casually walking through trying to fight as many enemies as I can, so... I... You know, no, I'll let you watch. Because I'm figure, I'm sure I can figure out something to say for the whole day. Bats. But yeah, uh, so if I... let You know what? Let's talk about the series so far and what I would have done differently. Because that's something that I don't think I'll have enough time to cover in these next three episodes. So, oh boy, that's a lot of rocks. So first of all, I don't know if I would have chosen the beach farm again, because while it, was, it certainly was interesting, and normally when playing, I don't rely too heavily on sprinklers in my first year anyway, because I'm a very light farmer, as I've said before. Uh, I believe that was, yeah, the serpent sound. There we go. They'd be giving us some bombs. I'm a very light farmer. I usually tend to focus on fishing or especially mining a lot of the time. But for the series, I knew I'd have to go a little harder on the farming. And having a beach farm really hindered that, not gonna lie. Because I really didn't have the ability to use the land until I had, what, the... I believe I needed both the steel pickaxe and the steel axe which I didn't have until late summer. So I I don't remember off the top of my head when I started using, utilizing that patch of land. But by then, it was kind of like the damage has been done. I had a slow start, and so you lose, you know? If I could find, like, any dinosaurs, that would be pretty great. Hello. Oh, nice. I know there's probably going to be another one. Oh, hey, dinosaur. I believe this puts us to 30 out of 50, if I remember correctly. I don't remember how many serpents I had left. It was a good amount. Oh, hey. A star, or I guess it's an X-shaped. Oh, they got me. It gets me every time. I'm so excited to find it. And just every time hurts my heart. Uh, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. I need serpents. That's about it. That's the general gist of it. Now, for year two, I mean, obviously, the thing I would have done different is go to the forest, go to the secret woods. But, I mean, that's such a minor thing. I think I played my year two really well, personally. Because I knew that I'd have an opportunity. Also, I called those rock crabs out. They have nothing on me anymore. Uh, I would rather not die today. I don't really have a lot to eat, I'm realizing. I don't have a lot of blackberries. Year two, I believe I played perfectly, other than I I could have had a better grasp on the 1.5 stuff. Which really, I mean, there's not really much I could do about that, other than 
play an entire file through so I could refresh myself on it, which uh, is not the way I like to go about things. I like to have a general knowledge of what's going to come up and not know, you know, every single RNG roll that's going to happen. I know I got a lot of flack in my... I don't think there's any serpents here. No. I'm just going to jump in. I got a lot of flack in my Pokemon Let's Play. Pokemon Heart Gold specifically. Uh, for not knowing the exact movesets and exact Pokemon I'd be going up against ahead of time. But personally, that would have ruined the point of playing the game. Like if I know the counterplay to every single situation and exactly what I should do in every single situation. What's the fun? What's the fun in that? Oh, this is going to hurt. I took damage. Whoa, did you see that serpent? That's uh, that's what I call would call a swoosh on in. I am gonna heal some more. Uh oh. See, this is what I was like. Are you really gonna try and go through all of this without? Ooh, where's my crab cakes? You're really gonna go try to go all through this without using any food? You'd basically have to do the strat that I did, where I just had a ton of staircases, and even then. You know, you're not getting nearly as many key gems as you do for the dangerous mines. So it's just not a good deal. I don't... I don't support that. I meant to use a bigger bomb, but okay. Oh, let's see. So yeah, I don't know, like to know exactly what's happening, so... I know... I studied where a lot of the golden walnuts were, but obviously did not perfect it. Ooh, you know what that reminds me to do? Uh, I want to go to the island and shoot down that golden walnut that we've been missing for such a long time. Do I need to hit every single rock in this entire floor? No. I've been corrected on that immediately. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, 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 this is good. This will be serpents if I'm correct. Yes. Ooh, I might just chill on this floor, huh? We didn't get a single infestation last time we came through here searching for kills so i will take it also this is a very good supply of void essence if you need it i suppose uh probably made a bit more mistakes in year one you know one thing i wish i had done is looked forward to the per percentage things and that's a rabbit's foot right there there's that uh don't need the prehistoric rib or the vertebrae for that matter I wish I had looked forward to completing the perfection stuff early because that was a little bit overbearing if I could have focused a little more on hard profits and specifically the island the second year, that would have been nice. Uh, but I do believe that the first year will always be your most hectic and your most tiresome. Once you get through year one, like the world opens up to you because you don't have to worry about getting all the specific items for bundles, which requires you to do just a lot. Like it forces you to interact with every different part of the game, which you may not want to, which I guess perfection does too, but it's kind of to a lesser extent. Like, yeah, I think the biggest drag is just getting all the relationship levels up, which if I had been able to do that earlier, yeah, that would have been nice, but eh, you know. I'm gonna take this energy tonic. Defense up is nice, but it's not doing a ton for us. Uh, but yeah, like if I were to play through the, I don't, I don't see myself completing the relationships in this game ever again because it's fun if you're going for like one or two people, but having to basically set aside two days of every single week to give everyone their little gifts and even more than that if you you know don't have a perfect photographic knowledge of every single person's oh cool i i should just start realizing that if i don't find anything there's probably a staircase already somewhere on the floor um i'll also try to remember to check what our numbers are for these monster slayer goals after this i'll, I'll pop out at like 10 so we can go do that uh, but yeah, relationships are kind of a downer, and they are probably my least favorite part of the game. If there was a, if there was a good, constant way to get loved, universally loved items, which yes, I know you can get, I believe, 
Oh, there is a... Oh, that's a lot of iridium, actually. There is a fish pond. A fish that you can put into a fish pond. That gives you a fairly solid chance of getting a pearl every time. But that's like once every few days. That's the sound of a serpent spawning. Hello there. It gives you a pearl every few days. And then if you get 10 crabs into a fish pond, which I didn't do because I didn't need to, you get a pearl from Willy, which I, I probably won't end up doing, needless to say, because I don't need to. I got plenty of pearls throughout the game, so I was pretty set there. But if there was just like a very cheap, universally loved item that could go to literally everyone, that would have been nice. Uh, now I do want the batteries because that thing just dropped two of them i forgot i'm holding the burglar's ring so it's very useful uh if i'm lucky i would like to just stay here and have them continue to spawn serpents on me there that's right we're at floor 50 so now iridium bats start spawning yeah so you might want to stay like to the upper floors so you don't start fighting iridium bats instead of serpents something i never really considered uh, 7.30 now. This has ended up being a much better run than I expected it to be, unfortunately. So you're a crab, huh? Get crit immediately. That poor thing. Ooh, finally another dinosaur. If we're lucky, we might end with like, hello. Ooh, give me my iridium. Thank you. And more crab cakes. How many? How much iridium has we, have we gotten? 50? That's good. Oh god, and this is better. Pop that there, pop that there, and collect all that iridium. Yeah, I mean, hey, if I do want to hit that money goal, iridium bars will do it, even though I can only really make one set at a time. Uh, mega bomb here. Uh, hmm, those serpents got onto me at a bad time. Well, now they're dead. I'm gone. Just about ready to pull out of here. Unfortunately, we didn't make our Monster Slayer goals, but you'll see that in the next few episodes, I suppose. Okay, you're gonna be the one, right? You're the last one we need to kill. I think I remembered needing like 50 something. So yeah, it's not even gonna be close. There's another one. Hello, die. Three hits. That one was a, a thick boy. One more. One more floor. Actually, I said until 10, didn't I? I'll stick to that. I'll stick to that. 10 p.m., we're out of here. Immediately. Blow that set up. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, coming in on a bad luck day would have been a lot better for fighting enemies, but... Hey, what you gonna do? I will monster musk. Oh, boy. And it's gonna be all slimes, isn't it? Oops, all slimes. Yeah, okay. Uh, then I'm done. I'm not gonna really get through that floor. I guess I had staircases, didn't I? But who cares? Yoink. Nope, can't yoink. Don't need the slime. Yoink. Uh, okay. So, real quick, we will go to... What was my plan? I'll go to the Adventurer's Guild. Before I do that, let me deposit a lot of this. I got 28, uh, or 25 Omni Geodes. Oh, what to do with that? I guess tomorrow I'll be popping all these bad boys open, so I'll grab these and put them in my inventory. Put away all my mining stuff. Yeah, let me go through my inventory real quick, and then I'll I'll, I'll get back to you. Cool, we're good. And lucky for us, we have a mountain warp totem. Yeah, I guess until we get more coffee, I can just pop a crab cake every every day, because I have plenty of those, and the buff lasts long enough. Just a reminder, you can only enter here before 9, but we have a key to the town. So how are we sitting? Are we close or nah? 33 out of 50, yeah. 193 out of 50, okay. Yeah, we still had a few more trips into the mines, because I, I think we only slayed, like, what, 25 serpents that run, and that was a pretty good run. We got sub-50, so. Then we only got four of the Pepper Rexes, because we... Unfortunately, did not find a single, a single prehistoric floor, which, I mean, you hate to see, yeah, but you get what you're dealt. I am going to go to the island real quick, 
because we do have just a few hours to squeeze out of our day. And I love just being able to easily warp everywhere. Tomorrow I'll have I'll go somewhere to where I can move all of those obelisks around and we'll finish up our obelisk playground. And don't you love just being able to swoosh on in there? Easy as that. And it is of course Whoa! Whoa, moon jellies! What? I didn't know that happened. Well, there you have it. Something special. Ooh, something I wanted to, sh to show off. If I talk to this, I can close the beach resort so that people won't keep leaving town. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a big meanie head, but it's an option. Uh, now, first, I want to go to the dig site. There was something. What else did I want to do? That's right. I wanted to shoot down. I didn't bring my slingshot. <laughs> I wanted to shoot down that spot. Wait, why did I come here again? Oh no, it's the western side that I wanted to go. Ooh, I can probably get back here. Yeah, I can get back here real quick with the slingshot. Hold on. Willie's earning some good money from me today. So I brought just, just a tiny bit of ammo. So now our master slingshot's loaded with 999 shots. Go to the volcano. Again, this game was not meant for uh, zooming out. So there is somewhere, somewhere we're able to aim here that has something knocked down. Unless it was somewhere else, it's hitting the wall. Ah, uh, we can we can pick it out tomorrow because we're not gonna have a ton of time. I I know it's up here somewhere. <gasps> there it is. Boom. The one golden walnut. <laughs> that we don't get from the fossil. Uh, so now it's literally just waiting on that fossil. And before I pass out tonight, I'm going to quickly do a run around. If I could find those worms on this, our last by the book episode, it would be wild. So let's do it. Alas, here I am, wormless. Uh, I might not make it back in. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can make it into my cabin at least then i'll be fine and this is why we put the bed next to the door easy this is gonna be the last day of the entire well this next day is gonna be the last day of the entire let's play really because the rest of you, you're not gonna be experiencing the full days which i i'm very sad about but it really truly is just going to be like here's the thing was this a rerun on? Baked fish. There you go. Here's the thing. I could show all of this. And I know that so many people like... One of my favorite comments that I ever got in this series, and I got it quite a few times, is all the people that look forward to the uploads every day. Like, I remember the wording of someone. It was their afternoon ritual, after work, after work ritual, where they check to see if I have an upload of this series. And... I do feel like I'm doing a little bit of a disservice when I'm like, okay, the rest of it is going to be fast days, but I don't want it to be the case where the last 10 or so episodes are all just identical because we have so few things left to do for perfection that it's kind of like, what's the point? And I could, I suppose, do optional projects like the aquarium that I have, but I, I don't know what I would do for that. I could just make separate videos for little aesthetic projects like that. Like, I really like the aquarium. I'm glad that I worked on it, but I just don't have the creative energy to put all of that into what's supposed to be a perfection run of a series, I suppose. Anyway, uh, that's fat stacks. That's absolute fat stacks. I could sell this to Pierre and see if that would get us enough money. Uh, what did we get? Somewhere around 100 star fruit. I don't think our wine's ready, so... Guess I'll take another look around. Look for the worms, but I'm not too... Not too sure about it. Uh, what I'm gonna probably have to do for a lot of these days coming up is just start crafting... Wo what are rain totems made of? Rain totems are hardwood, truffle oil, and pine tar. I Oh, that's right. That's what the pine tar I was making was for. Yeah, I'll just probably make a ton of that. 
and then keep coming here with rain totem so it rains here and thus gives us a higher chance for wormage but it's not looking great and we will check our la our final perfection rating uh at the end of this day so don't worry about that uh let's see i mean i guess that's it for here i didn't bring the star fruit so i'll have to I'll have to put that down separately sometime. Let's get out of here. Oh, also, I never wore a pirate co or pirate item to the pirate convention thing. Uh, they just give you, I want to say it's a pina colada. Because, I don't know. It's probably a reference, but I think it's more just, haha, pirates be drinking and all that. So, uh, what do we do? <laughs> I really hope we finished out those crops that we needed. Wait. Red cabbage? Huh? Didn't I... Didn't I already donate that? Huh? <gasps> that was the day I reset. Oh, well, silly me. Oh. That was also the day that I planted the rhubarb, wasn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'll... It's it's really deja vu. I'm just going to plant rhubarb for 50 days in a row. Not that it's that important, but eh. I'll plant the rhubarb. Okay. So, like I said, I do want to finish up the aquarium today, so I'll find some more fish. I'll make the layout final. I don't know if I'm going to keep this modern fish tank, because it, it kind of looks a little stinky compared to all the other classic fish tanks, that is. Uh, I also grabbed as many items as I could here to sell them. In fact, you know what? I do have proper... Oh, I never bought... Hey! Aw, poor babies. They all hate me. They all hate me. I think they all lost... All, like, all of the hearts that they had. Okay, no, the old ones are kind of still popping. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they haven't probably been laying for a while because I didn't buy them hay. I'll do that today just so we have, like, closure on that. You know what? Let's go do that now before I forget. All right, Marnie. Give me the hay. Hopefully I'll have enough money for this. Who's to say? Uh, what are we on? The 10th? Yeah, we'll probably need a bit of hay. I'll get 150, which I don't think will last me the entire time. I can sell the rabbit's foot to her. Huh, specifically the rabbit's foot. 565, well, how about that? No, I'd want to, I'm going to sell it all to Pierre in one bulk thing so we can see how much we make. So I'll go do that real quick. Mmm, Okay. He's taking the day off and that. Maybe I should have closed it, huh? No, here, have all this ancient fruit. Whoa, that went up quickly. So let me see. The star fruit altogether would give me about 150,000. Yeah, just about that much, 140,000, which will not get us up to that 1 million, unfortunately. So looks like we'll hold off. Uh, rabbit's foots are pretty valuable. They're a universally loved item. You know what? I guess that is an easy way to get a universally loved item is just have a full deluxe coop full of uh, rabbit's feet. I think I remember the artichoke being pointless. Don't really need the pineapple seed. Don't really need the rabbit's foot either. And let me get that rhubarb because I'm just absolutely awful at everything. Like, ab... Ugh. Cannot believe it. Hey, where's that rhubarb? Rahu rhubarb. Hold up, that's not a, that's not something I get somewhere else, is it? Yeah, because I need the rhubarb for the rhubarb pie. You you have the rhubarb, right? Could have swore you did. Oh, that's a desert item. I think I've been mixing that up for a while now. Okay, well, I still do need to go and pop open all of these items that we have. I, uh, you know, I guess if we're going to the desert, I have 30 Omni Geodes. I might as well turn them all into artifact troves, right? Because the chance that I get what I want out of an Omni Geode is exceptionally small. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Talk to my husband for the last day. 
I don't want to get soft now that I'm a married guy. Maybe I should start eating more hot pepper and working out. More hot pepper? Just an idea. Hey, that's okay. I, listen. I, I see, like, here's a hot take for you. If you want to work out because it, you feel good when you look good, do it. Like, it, it's not, it doesn't have to be that deep. If you're doing a healthy thing because you want to look good, it's fine, right? Like, I don't know. Other than, like, the fact that, like, looking at yourself negatively when you don't like the way you look is not a good thing. Obviously, that sucks. But if it persuades you to work out, that's a win-win. That's a, it's, it's several wins all in a row, personally, in my opinion. So there's your hot take so you can, if you don't agree with it, you can hate me and be mad that you watched the previous 97 videos of a Let's Play of a guy you hate. So there it is. All right, dude, pop my rocks. Let's see what we get. No, don't shop. Oh, you know what? I guess I never did. I never fully upgraded my tools, which I think we have more than enough iridium bars to do if we wanted now. Ooh, you hate to see it. Okay. Sure. Nope. I mean, it basically is an equivalent chance with both of these items, both of these geodes. Are you kidding? How many of these have I popped open? Oh, another golden mask before we got the Dwarven gadget. That's a funky boy. Oh, if it was the last one, wouldn't it just be the bee's knees? Man, that I guess I'm going to have to show off how the farm computer works in one of the fast forward episodes, which is a little weird, but you do what you can do. All right, so... Oh, good golly, what's on the docket today? I didn't buy rhubarbs, that's what's on the docket. Sheesh. Oh, you know what's on the docket? I need to finish up all of these, uh... things. So first of all, I want to change the color of the shed to match the rest. Uh, Ral said that he wanted there to be a blue theme. There's not really... I mean, I could find blue decorations. That's about as far as I could go with it, yeah? That's about all you could really do. These boys are still gyrating. They should be done in a day or two. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to donate all these items we got here. And I think I'm just going to make my way straight over to Robin's. So that we can't... Oh, I'm still hold, holding the... What is this? Obsidian? Bixite. No, the purple was the obsidian. I'm going to make my way, my way to Robin so that we can move stuff around and make things pretty. I I was so sure that she wasn't going to be here. Uh, yeah, these communica community upgrades are another thing I need to show off. You know what? It wouldn't be done until tomorrow, which sucks. But, uh, no, nah, that, that would be better organized in one of the upcoming uh, episodes. Anyway, construct farm buildings... I just want to move things around and paint things. I figured out that you can, like, press an arrow key and move the cursor to the corner. Uh, let's space these where they kind of, like, send you. Oh, that kind of covers up the aquarium, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, well. Desert would be top left. And I mean, well... No! My my piece of stone! You've ruined my life. And I do want to move this over to the left side. Well, then that blocks the... Oh, man. If I move it right next to it, it's not, but it's uneven. Why do these have to be so tall? I could move them out to the corners. Yeah. Wait, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Why is that, why is that not even? Oh, no. Because it couldn't be. It'd have to have a four opening. Which I guess I can do. It wouldn't be that hard to do, yeah? Hmm. Could be. Ooh. You know what it could be? Out on the top. In on the bottom. Ooh, that would look funky. Or. In on the top. Out on the bottom. Right? Well, I'd have to get it even first, but. Yeah. Ooh. 
Huh. I think I like in on the bottom, out on the top. I just don't want them covering each other more more than anything. And I guess that will be over one. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I'll like, I don't know, I'll figure something out for all this. But yeah, that's all I wanted to move around. So there we go. And then paint. Now I know I saved the colors. Do the colors stay saved in between uses? No. Okay. So here, copy, copy, copy. And we will, boom. Yeah, the trim all really threw me off here because it does not work, look good as these other two colors. As you can see, it's incredibly ugly. So I had to like figure out a color that looked nice and it was this brown was the best thing. There you go. Look at that. Two identical sheds that are there for sure. Cool. And then we'll have to go back and mess with them a bit. Uh, now, you don't sell anything that I can't get from the furniture catalog, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure all of this is obtainable. Actually, I don't know if the TVs are. Interesting. Or the calendar, for that matter, because it's a useful one. Cool. Just wanted to check that out. Okay. Uh, back to the farm so I can fix that area up real quick. All right, so here's the question, really. Do I, oh yeah, I have to fill that in. Womp, perfect. Uh, do I use, there, it's a quick fix. Also, it looks nicer. I think I'll just go out like that far, maybe. I don't know if I wanna connect it like that. Seven, I'm gonna be one short. Ugh. Now, do I use stone fences to put around? Or do I use wood? Because what, like, that might blend in a bit, right? I was also thinking I could put, like, grass in the openings as well. Does that look good? Yeah, that would be it. And then I could put, like... definitely doesn't look great alone and then like the the fact that this is like open here uh, if I closed it like that what how does that look I don't know oh and this obelisk is gonna cover my keg I can move that over that's fine hmm I kind of you know I need to see that on the other side where it would be like a completed look -see poo It's like, how does that look over here? And is there really any function to it being blocked off like that, really? I mean, yeah, it looks nice, I think, is mainly the thing. Uh, my other option could be let the stone paths connect to the side and then kind of just throw up the fence like this where it's more of just a decoration than anything else. I feel like I like that, actually, now that I think about it. It could just be a cute little decoration. I don't know. And some other colors I think would liven this up too, but yeah, I'll make some more stone floors and then I'll complete that up and then it'll be pretty witty. Yeah, adjustments may be made to this somewhere down the line, but I think this is nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm still not sure about the choice of stone brick, but... And then something else might, like, go here, for example, in these two spots. Even, like, these up, fences up here look a little wacky. I don't know, like, grass could go there. A flower, a seasonal flower, I don't know. Anyway, before I waste too much time, I do want to make that aquarium look nice as well, and that's kind of what the hardwood fence is for. Now, if I recall correctly, 
I would want, which of these sections was the, the things? Yeah, one deluxe fish tank. One, two, three, four, five, six, I wanna say, will look nice. We'll try that. So, oh, oh, it gets dark in here. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, legendary here. And then I was thinking of just like kind of lining the wall with these small ones, three on each side. Yeah, that fills it up pretty nicely, doesn't it? Is that one lower? No. And this, I think, is ugly. So I'm going to change it out to be like that. And then hopefully someday I fill this thing out with fish. But also, uh, I don't want to put the fence up yet because I want to be able to reach it to put the fish in. But I'm going to fill it with seaweed and coral just so the, those kind of look nice and presentable. How much coral do I have? I do not have a lot of coral. I'll grab algae too, to see how that looks. I have a super cucumber I can throw in. I missed that somehow. And I wonder if I can put in a rainbow shell? We're just playing around. Listen, aquariums are the one thing I wanted to do in this let's play because it's just such a good idea. No, I can't put in that. It has to be, oop, it has to be seaweed. Also, I noticed that there's seaweed missing from some of our other tanks. It's just like a must have, cause it's a freebie. Wow, I did that perfectly. Uh, now I'll put like sea cucumber there. Oh, it sits on the bottom. Oh, there's another one there. Uh, does rainbow shell go in? No. Okay. Uh, I did have here take the albacore and seaweed out so that that's empty. Then I can put the albacore here. Yeah. See, this is this is just about it. Like what I want it to be. How does it look on its own? Okay, a little pole there. I was thinking like, yeah, that's kind of in the way. Hold on. Good. Eh. I was kind of thinking just like line these down kind of for aesthetic purposes. I know I literally have an infinite supply of any decoration I want, but I mean, I like that. It's not really to like actually keep you from going anywhere, but how does that look under that? I might, I might fill the bottom of that too, but yeah. So Bada boom, bada bing, there's the aquarium. I'll continue working on this through the entire winter because I want it to be just absolutely bustling with just about every fish you can imagine. I'll go and grab all of the ginger island fish and I'll probably put them down in like this bottom left one. I'll figure out some other theme to have for this other uh, large fish tank because I just, I like it so much. And then I might throw some more lamps in the bottom corners here so it's all lit up and pretty. But like, wow, I love this. And I've seen people who have like, instead of an actual aquarium like this, they'll have display stands of every single fish in the entire game. Cause it does fit. If you fit them all into display stands, they will all fit into one big shed, which is pretty neat. I want to get rid of that. That's ugly. Guess what? Boom. It's been finished. It finally looks right before we end off this series, uh, chrono chronological section of the series. Yeah, look at all this. I'm really glad I could do something with this. I might, you know, I could fit something in the middle here. Just some like decoration. Ooh, I'll be thinking about that. It'll have to be something that takes up four squares so it can be smack dab in the middle. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is the farm. You know what? I'll do something that I don't usually do. I'll take a screenshot. Bada boom, bada bing. And that'll, sh I believe, show the entire farm. Uh, it's been a long time since I've taken one of these screenshots, but no, it'll, it's, it's dark because it's nighttime, but oh well. You'll see it. I'll put it up on screen. Anyway, oh God, that does it. I guess I'm not going to waste time like doing things for tomorrow because 
I mean, you're not very likely not going to see tomorrow. You'll probably see a snippet of it, and maybe that's it. Can take one last look at all of the things we've done. Like, not redecorate our house. I'll definitely listen. This house is going to be decorated by the end of the year. Guaranteed. All right. So this is how the next few episodes are going to go. This is currently winter 10th. The next episode is going to finish off the year. And there's a few unique events that we'll see from that. The episode after that is going to be everything that we have left to attain perfection rating. Which means the last few cooking recipes... We'll finish off those Slayer goals. We'll find a Morel in spring, which it naturally will be anyway, because the previous video will finish off the year. Oh, uh, that's basically it. I'll have to show you which days you get these two two uh, cooking recipes and make our rhubarb. Uh, I don't need to do polyculture. I know a few people have said that I, I'm missing this achievement. It's not required for perfection rating. It's just an achievement full shipment is and that's uh completing this screen which unfortunately i was not able to do um i need to find those last few golden walnuts and then craft the last of the recipes and that's it and then the episode after that will be ending off the entire series so i hope you're all excited for that i, I you know i say that but i know you're not i'll see you all then and good night Thank you.